Basic strategy and the running count are essential to beating blackjack with card counting, but it's our true count that tells us how to bet and when to deviate from basic strategy. I'm gonna show you in this video several ways you can practice your true count conversion at home so that you can implement it flawlessly in the casino to beat the casinos with card counting. As card counters, the running count tells us our ratio of low cards to high cards, but we need to take one more step and divide the number of decks remaining into this running count to give us our true count or our count per deck, right? It's a huge difference if there's 25 extra high cards in the next seven decks, or if there's 25 extra high cards in the next one or two decks. Our true count conversion tells us how rich the shoe is per deck. Let me give an example real quick. Let's say that we are exactly one deck into play. We've been uh, counting and we get a deck in and we've got a running 10. Well, what we're gonna do is divide by the number of decks remaining. This is a six deck game or a six deck shoe. So with one deck played, that means there are five decks remaining. If our running count is 10, we're gonna say 10 divided by five, five decks remaining, gives us a true count of two. What that means is in the remaining five decks left to be played on average, there's gonna be two extra high cards per deck. Now, it's not gonna be exactly two extra high cards for every deck we play, but the average ratio and everything with card counting is about playing the averages, playing the odds. On average, there's two extra high cards per deck. That would be the same thing as if we were five decks in and there's exactly one deck left to be played with a running two, because two divided by one deck left gives us a true two. Now it's not exactly the same, but on average it is about the same thing. Without true count conversion, we cannot know exactly how to bet or how to deviate because the math of the game is based on this count per deck. It, it was fine back in the early days when there was single deck blackjack, you didn't need true count conversion. Then casino said, hey, we're gonna thwart you by doing two decks or four decks or six or eight decks. And we said, great, we'll just use some simple division to get there but there are two skills you're gonna to need to convert to the true count. One, you're gonna need deck estimation. What that means is that you can look at the discard tray at any point, you could glance at it and have a very accurate estimation of how many decks are in here, or more importantly, how many decks remain to be played. Secondly, we need to be able to do very quick division. So we take our running count, whatever it is, every round we're gonna take our running count and divide it by the number of decks that remain to be dealt. So that's like the example earlier of a running 10 with five decks left would give us a true two. So what I wanna do is walk you through how to master these two skills and some drills you can do to work on these from home. Let's start with deck estimation. What you can do is start with an empty discard tray and put one deck into the discard tray. I'm gonna say this is a deck of cards. Let's find out real quick. I was off by three cards. That would be an acceptable margin of error, but I am a little embarrassed that I was off by three cards. Here's 52 cards. Put that in the discard tray and honestly just spend some time looking at it. Be able to, from different spots on, on a table or you know at your dining room table, put this and just practice looking at what one deck looks like in a discard tray. And then do two decks. I'm gonna say this is another deck you know, count it out and do the same thing. I recommend for the first three decks, just be able to visualize what one, two, and three decks looks like in the discard tray. From this point, what I'm gonna do is look at the empty space. Is that two decks of empty space or less? All right, we've got one deck of empty space. That's how you wanna visualize it. And you just need to spend time, count through a deck, two, three, four, and five decks, and just visualize what that looks like. The second thing you can do is when you're actually practicing playing at home with your own setup, you can actually do this on our iPhone app. You can click on the decks and, and it'll expand and you can see, you know, it's actual images of cards or, or in our training drills on our website. But so let's just say at home, if you're practicing this, then you can look at this and you say, I think that there are three decks left. And then pause it, you know, you can write down your running count if you need to, but better yet, just practice lodging that running count in your brains, 17. Okay, I have a running 17 and I will not forget I have a running 17. Then pause it and, you know, check. For three decks, it's really easy because you take the other three decks, you stack them up next to each other. You say, oh, look, it was actually a few cards over three decks. So that means, you know, that, that there are three decks left to be played or just under three decks. You wanna check and you wanna see if you're accurate. 
and you want to figure out if you're not accurate, what are you doing wrong? And what I found is really common is people overestimate a deck. They'll say, oh, look, there's a deck there. And I look at that, I say, no, there's definitely not a deck in the discard tray. We're you know, we're at least 10 cards shy and you can count through it and see if you find that you're consistently overestimating your divisor, then you need to recalibrate your eye. And you maybe even need to tell yourself, hey, I really want it to be, you know, five decks left so I can start raising my bets, but I need to account for the fact that I overestimate this. So that is handling your deck estimation. You wanna be within a quarter deck margin of error consistently. I personally wanna be within a few cards of it. If I say there are four decks left, I wanna count through and say, oh yeah, there's a few cards less than four decks left or a few cards over four decks left. So that's that skill. Take the time to get accurate at it. The second skill is our division. And guys, gals, you might have to uh, swallow some pride here and just humble yourself and say, hey, I haven't done a lot of division in my day-to-day -day life since elementary school. And you might just need some practice. The good news is, there's nothing more complicated in this than third grade division. So you can master it, you might be rusty, but if you have to pull out, print off some division worksheets like I have my kids do, do it. It's not, it's not difficult, swallow your pride. And all you need to do, the most decks you're gonna play in a casino would be eight decks. So the most you'd be dividing by is eight. So you wanna be able to divide by eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one you're not really gonna get any running counts above a running 40. So what you really need to be able to do is divide the number 40 and less by divisors of eight and lower. Or if you're only gonna play six deck games, then be able to divide 40 and less by divisors of six and lower. So one way we can do this is just on scraps of paper, write the numbers one through 40 on 40 different pieces of paper, put them in a bowl or a hat or you know whatever, and then start with an empty discard tray, just like this. And, or you can put a few cards in there if you want, pull out a number. Let's say you pull out the number 33. You're gonna say 33 divided by, well, we've got six decks left. 33 divided by six gives us a true five. You pull out the next number and it's 17. 17 divided by six gives us a true count of two. It's almost a true three, but it's not. So it's still a true two. And then, you know, keep doing that for every number. And then put a full deck in the discard tray, that's a little over a deck in there. And we're gonna do the exact, put all the numbers back in the bowl. And now we're dividing by five. So we pull out the number 24, divide by five gives us a true four and pull out the number eight. Eight divided by five gives us a true one and do that for every number. Do the same thing for four decks left and you know three decks left, two decks left. One deck left is really easy because any number divided by one is the number. So, if, so you know, you don't really need to practice dividing by one. But another way you can practice your division is we actually have a true count drill in the membership area of our Blackjack Apprenticeship membership. And it's going to give you random amounts of decks with images of an actual discard tray and decks and random numbers. And so it, it'll virtually do that same thing of really quickly and accurately having to say, this is my rank count. If this is the discard tray, then what's my true count going to be? If you spend 15 minutes a day on this drill, either manually or with, with our training suite, you will very quickly be able to get your true count conversion down. And the faster and more accurate you are at your true count conversion, the faster everything else will be. Some of you are thinking, that's great, Colin, that's full deck amounts. What about half deck amounts? Like dividing by five and a half decks left or four and a half decks left. I have an entire video dedicated to that if you wanna know the math behind using full deck divisor or half deck divisor, but the, the main point is my advice is get really fast and accurate by dividing by full deck amounts. And so that you are always on point with a full deck divisor. At that point, when it's really easy and you're getting a little bit bored, I strongly recommend that you learn at least for the last few decks to be able to divide by half deck amounts. For a six deck shoe, get really fast at six, five, four, three, and then get good at dividing by two and a half decks left, two decks left, one and a half deck left, one deck left, and then even half a deck left. And you might say, well, I'm never gonna have half a deck in a shoe game. Probably not, but in double deck, you do get half a deck left uh, for, for your divisor. And there's kind of a quick rule. If you're dividing by half, you just multiply the rank count by two and there you go. But I recommend learning the half deck amounts for the second half of the shoe. That's gonna give you the biggest bang for your buck. And if at that point you wanna 
press yourself to be able to divide the entire shoe by half deck amounts, go for it. That's what I do because that's what I've always done. But you know, the majority of the EV is full decks for the first half of the shoe, then half decks for the rest. If you want a breakdown of the math of the divisor that you use, whether it's full deck, half deck, or even a quarter deck divisor, I have that video right here. You can check out the math behind it. Otherwise, keep training and start generating that positive EV.